Hey guys, your inner chakras. Welcome back to the channel, guys. If you are new, you are welcome. Guys, let's get some messages from your angels in regards to your relationships or the person that's on your mind. Let's get some guidance real quick. See what's going on. These are angel cards too. I just don't know the name of it, but they're angel cards. And I take them in the upright. And then we're going to put some kipper. And let's go with it. Guys, I just ran up the steps by the twos. When was the last time you ran up the steps by the twos? Lord have mercy. Woo, child. That's crazy. I don't know what I was thinking. I haven't done that in a long time. That means my thighs are going to be hurt tomorrow, y'all. Because I don't, I don't know when that was the last time I've done that. Like, the hell? Anyway. What is going on? Let's give you some angel answers in regards to your connection, your person. Let's just dive in. Ooh. Angel said take it. It says look for a sign, guys. Look for a sign. This could be anything from a commercial, a book that you're reading, the name of something that you see, a license plate, the clock, angel numbers, something. Just look for a sign, um, a phone call, a text, anything. Pay attention to the signs. Pay attention to the signs that you think aren't signs. Usually a sign will come to you when you notice something. And then you think twice about it, and then you're like, mm. and in your mind it kind of means something, but you really don't know what it means. Write it down, because for whatever reason, it could be days later to where what you saw will make sense to you, like why you saw that or something like that. So look for a sign, guys, right? Look for a sign. And then, ooh, here we have a no here. Now, in this deck, we have no, and then we have no. And the no is kind of like, mm, this one here is like, ah, it's kind of iffy. I don't know. It's a no. But when you get the no with the exclamation point, that's like hell no from your angels. So the angels right now are saying no. They could be saying no, not right now. But it's not a definite no, right? It's a no. It's kind of like, mm, look for the sign. Pay attention to the signs. You know, feel somebody out. Watch it. You know, watch their energies or whatever. So you kind of got the mm, mm, no. But not the hell no, right? Okay, <laughs> if that makes sense. All right, what's going on? And then, okay, so what it is is it's not a definite no. That's because you and your person need to compromise, right? You need to compromise. You need to meet each other in the middle. They give a little, you give a little. You know, it can't be all about you. It can't be all about them. You would definitely have to compromise in the situation, right? Everybody's not going to get what they want in a relationship. And that's when you bend. That's how you keep a relationship. you got to learn to compromise and respect one another, right? I'm trying to tell y'all how to keep y'all relationships. Anyway, uh, improving health. So it could get better, right? Look for a sign. Whatever it is, it's definitely going that the health of this relationship will improve. It's just going to take some time. It's just a no right now. And it's a no because you have to compromise, you have to bend, they have to bend, you both have to give. But look for the signs. And the signs could be, are they compromising? Are they trying to change? Are they trying to meet you in the middle? Are you giving them what they want? Are you bending to, you know? Can't be rigid in these relationships, guys. Sometimes we gotta let it go, you know, we gotta, ah. Uh. All right, let's see what's going on. And this connection. We have a King of Pentacles here. A compassionate person, accomplished, charismatic, grounded, a time for success, financial security and prosperity. This person has the Midas touch, everything turning out beautifully, a supportive parent and spouse, a good person to work for. So we have a king of pentacles here and that person has the Midas touch very accomplished very compassionate charismatic very grounded as well so so we have the king here what else we have oh my gosh y'all are not ready y'all are not ready we got the queen the queen of pentacles i'm not even lying y'all see me shuffle y'all see me shuffle Okay, so look for a sign, guys, from this King of Pentacles here. But then we have the Queen of Pentacles, and let me tell you about her. She's generous, too. She's very practical. She's gracious, materialistic. The ability to make anything more beautiful. So she's materialistic in a different way. Like, 
yeah, she likes her fancy things, but she's not materialistic, like giving, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, because she has her own, right? But she'll give you a beautiful home. She'll give you this. She'll give you that. So she can make anything more beautiful, a love of family and home, be practical about how you proceed, a love of the arts and beauty, and a very sensible approach. So guys, we have both energies here. We have the king and the queen of pentacles here. You both are about it. You're definitely focused on yourself. You're definitely the cream of the crop. You're at the top, right? You both have your own money. You both seem to be practical, grounded. You're both accomplished. Um, so yeah, Holy Spirit, what else is going on? Then we have the chariot. Rewards that comes from hard work, successfully balancing many priorities at once, determination and willpower, public recognition. So somebody's definitely making moves, guys, and going forward, uh, doing what they need to do. So it's the chariot. Um, this could be both of you. Both of you could be making moves and strides together, right? You have rewards. Rewards, rewards that come from hard work, successfully balancing many priorities at once, determination and willpower, and then public recognition. So uh, one of you or both of you could be in the public eye. Uh, you're definitely both making moves. Oh, yeah, this could be a powerful connection here. You just have to compromise to make it work. And then we have nine of wands. Protect what you have created. Be prepared. Never give up. Ask your angels for help. Environmental activism and animal rights or something like that. So guys, if you created something, protect what you have created. That could be a business. Anything that you've worked hard for, protect that, right? Be prepared. Never give up. Ask your angels for help. So guys, you have a few things going on. It looks like you're focused... Your person is focused, whether you're the queen or the king. You're both focused. You're both... You, hell, you got it going on. Both of you have it going on. You're both busy, but you two have to compromise and make it work. Okay? And if you can compromise, then you can improve the health of this relationship. So let's put some Kipper on here and see what's going on. Let's go a little deeper here. Uh, we have a change, so things could be about to change. In this relationship, I'm going to have to put my glasses on for one. That card is little. <laughs> and I won't remember what it is. Alright, so we have a change here. So things could be changing. They could be changing. You could be changing. We have expectation. We have a woman in waiting. So if you are the woman of this reading, you could be expecting this person. Um, expecting them to change or whatever. Expecting them to come if that's what it is. And then we have bereavement. So something is definitely ending for someone. Uh, either you or your person is ending something with another person. Somebody's ending something. And then we have a little child here. The little child could be a new beginning because it's brand new. So they, it could be that you two will have a new beginning or a second chance at this after this bereavement here let's clarify change since i have these cards it's a good gentleman so the man in this reading is making a change in his life clarify this woman that's waiting the wait the main person she's waiting on him so he's in the midst of change and she's waiting on this man to come that's the main person he's a good gentleman just how it said over here um Clarify this ending, this bereavement. Let's see. Unexpected money. So somebody's going to get some unexpected money after an ending. Somebody's getting something. Or definitely some unexpected money is coming in from whoever's doing all this hard work here. Somebody's working hard. It looks like they're working in a farm. Doesn't necessarily have to be, but just working hard at whatever they're working hard at. And then we have a false fake person here. So, if it does involve a child, this woman could have been fake. This woman could have been lying, telling this man over here, look, this is your child. Maybe they could be finding out later that it's not 
Uh, maybe that's why they could be ending things. The unexpected money could be coming from that as well. If they find out that wasn't their child, maybe they're paying for child support. I don't know how you get child support back. Or if you can, you know, whatever. Holy Spirit, clarify this bereavement. Just reading here, it like it's going to be a minute. Clarify this bereavement, this ending. Four of Wands in reverse. They're definitely ending something. And there's no new beginnings. Oh, well, there's missed opportunities. Uh, they feel like um, or they're not going to get another opportunity. They may even feel like they missed opportunities. Spirit, clarify this little child here. Why is this little child energy here? It's the tower in reverse. It could be something that they tried to fix and they just couldn't fix. I don't know, but they're moving on. So whoever the, the woman is that they're leaving here is trying to fix it. But the man in this energy is moving on probably because she's a false person. She probably lied and said that was their child. Spirit, clarify this false person, this lady. The moon card. They started following their intuition, I guess, when it came to this lady here. And now they're trying to find their balance. So something happened there. But whatever it is, is it's causing an ending. All right, guys. Let's dig. Let's see what's going on. Hey, King. What is going on with you? The King right now is not really manifesting, not standing in their power. They are holding a lot of burdens. They're definitely dealing with a lot right now. Have a lot of burdens going on. Lovers in reverse. Nine of Cups in reverse. He's not happy. He could have found out um, that his person had another lover. Or he's definitely into things. But he's not fulfilled emotionally. He's not happy. He's definitely healing. He may be the one that's in movement going forward. He's definitely making decisions for himself. He's definitely making decisions for himself. That's for sure. This is the King of Cups. King of Cups. And he's going to that Queen of Pentacles. This is probably who he loved. And the Queen of Pentacles done came out twice. In this deck and in this deck. Alright guys. So the King here is making movements. Alright, Holy Spirit, what's going on? I think this king here is realizing that he wasn't following his intuition. He wasn't standing in his own power. That's how all these burdens came to be. Looks like he wasn't standing up for himself. But he's definitely moving on. Yeah, he's moving on. This is his energy. He does not want to go back to the past. He's not being fulfilled emotionally. He's not happy. I think he's realizing that's not his happy ever after. He's not offering love to that person anymore. He's moving on. Not a lot of energy. He, he definitely has passion. Probably has passion for you. Burning the midnight oil. He's definitely up in his head trying to figure out what he's going to do. But this Queen of Pentacles here is who he loves. We have the Knight of Cups. This is who he wants to be with. Here you both are right here. You two are going to have to compromise. The King and Queen of Pentacles. You're going to have to compromise. But your angels are telling you it's a no right now. And the reason why it's a no right now is because he's dealing with something over there. That he needs to handle before you two can come together. Spirit, clarify compromise. The Wheel of Fortune. If you two compromise, it, it it could be amazing. It would be really great things for the both of you. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune. Whoever you two are, you would definitely have a good life together. Like, um, when it comes to money and stuff, it seems like you're both focused and this and that. Um, somebody could be feeling used by another person. Maybe this person used them and used the child, for example. Holy Spirit, clarify this good gentleman. Seven of Swords. So, I guess she was being sneaky to that person. He's trying to be hopeful. Oh, 
what are we gonna do here guys spirit clarify this king of the king of cups right here who are you yeah they're the ones that's ending something i told you that man is ending something he's moving on he sees victory somewhere else he could be somebody people could be encouraging this person to go forward uh clarify this queen of pentacles four cups She's over it. She's over something called the infidelity. Mm, infidelity. I don't know. Spirit, clarify this three of cups in reverse. Not in hangman anymore. Standing in her strength. So this queen standing in her strength. This one here. They're standing in their strength. They're over it. If this is your energy. Whoever the feminine energy is here. She moved on. Probably because she knew something was going on in the background. But he needs to handle that. So guys pay attention. Look for a sign. Uh, this person does not want to go back to their past. They're definitely moving on. Six of Cups in reverse. They're definitely facing their judgment. This is a head over heart decision for this person. They're definitely moving on. They just have a lot of burdens right now that they need to work with. Ten of Wands. Slow movement right now. Somebody could be trying to make it work in this connection. Somebody's trying to make it work. Probably her, if he's the one that's trying to move on. He's definitely trying to move on. Spirit, clarify. Clarify this no. Up here. Page of Swords. That's that look for a sign. Pay attention. Pay, page of Pentacles in reverse. Don't make any moves yet. Don't make any moves because this person is still in a connection. Hierophant. So it's a no right now because they're in a connection. Two of Cups. Yeah. They're in a connection. So I don't know. Your angels just gave you some clarity on it. So you two need to compromise. But before that, they need to handle some situation over here. I don't know. I don't know. It's... Guys, whatever. Somebody play with the baby. Seems like maybe that's not their child or they play with something else. They was definitely fake. But your person, the king is in the middle of ending something. You're the queen. You're definitely holding your spot. I think in order for you two to work, you definitely have to be honest. You definitely have to compromise. Uh, definitely meet in the middle if you want this connection. And I think that's on both sides. All right. Ooh, this is long. Jeez Louise. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Peace.